kids of today don't remember Lash LaRue either, but their parents certainly do. In the years following World War II, he whipped audiences into a frenzy with his series of B-Westerns. But as Garrett Glazer reports in today's Inside Story, fame wasn't all it was cracked up to be. This was Lash LaRue in his prime. With his trademark bullwhip, he became one of Hollywood's most colorful heroes. All right, Rico, it's all over. And this time I think your sentence will be a little longer than six months. I'm taking you to Tucson to stand trial. And this is Lash today, whipping up memories of a time before the Westerns faded out, before his acting career failed and his life began to unravel. You can't blow it and then expect everything to be fine. It just doesn't happen that way. Today, the road for Lash LaRue looks back to his heyday 40 years ago when he was the king of the bullwhip. And at Western memorabilia shows like this one in Atlanta, Lash LaRue still gets top billing. After falling on hard times, LaRue now makes a living signing autographs and selling souvenirs. But he still fascinates his fans with tales of his glory days. Ironically, not many are even aware of how their hero bluffed his way into stardom. He says when a producer first offered the role, he only pretended to know how to handle a whip. Never had one in my hand before. So I went out and rented a couple of whips and beat myself to death trying to get that sucker in front of me. And what of the intervening years when LaRue left Hollywood? Well, he's less inclined to discuss them. It was a time when he turned into something of a drifter, reportedly married as many as ten times, and he ran afoul of the law. At one point, he was even arrested for fencing stolen property. Arrests, uh, vagrancy, uh, many marriages... What happened to you? Well, I guess I just didn't think fast enough <laughs> to stay out of trouble. I, uh, I never had an idea that I was getting into trouble when I was getting into trouble. How many times were you married? More than once. <laughs> and that was a mistake. But LaRue says he eventually turned himself around after finding religion. And now he sees himself as a role model for kids. Something that gives him great pleasure. Are you getting good grades in school? Oh boy, that's I like it when, when men come up with their sons and say, this was my hero when I was a boy, son. And I like that. It's a good feeling. Still, LaRue would like to get back into movies. He needs the work, not only for the glory, but to qualify for an actor's pension, which so far he's been denied. And he's not above taking any opportunity to appeal for help. You're supposed to have ten years of motion pictures behind you and I, I think I had uh, eight I need another picture or two so if there's any producers out there that are working that, like I'd appreciate it if you put me in one so for Lash LaRue the trail goes on led by fans memories of his past and his own hopes for the future in Atlanta Garrett Glazer entertainment tonight Willie Nelson's heroes have always been cowboys and Lash LaRue is number one among them in fact, Willie always puts Lash into his TV westerns to try to help him out. 